Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to draw Ban from Seven Deadly Sins, the anime and the manga. This one was a request as well, if I can find the name of the person who requested it. Uh, let's see, it was Frank Ramos, so thanks for the request Frank. So let's get right in, we're going to start with Ban's eyes. So I'll just get back up my picture, sorry. So, okay, middle of the page. So we have an eye here, an eye here. So it's portrait close up on him. So we will start with the top eyelid. So it just curves this way. All along. Here and up to a spike. Just like that. Then this slants down along the side and comes back over then this way so it's that sort of anime rectangular sort of style and the edge of his thing curves up like that he's sort of thick fairly thick lines underneath his eyes there so you can make them thicker and then we'll finish with this line just there In there we have a iris, so curve, curve, and then a pupil just in there. So I'll just try and make that a bit more circular. Uh, then we can do just a line on the side of his eye. Uh, I'll just yeah, sorry. So top eyelid, just there, curves across, just like that. Uh, line underneath that eye. So we're just adding details around the eyes now, so like the bumps and folds and stuff for skin. And then there's a line there like that. And then we'll go over and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So it's pretty much the same, so we start with a curvy line up like that comes to a point and starts to come back down then. Comes back down, then comes across. And down the other side there. And we can thicken these up again. Then we have his eye inside, so it curves down, curves back up, pupil in the middle, and then we'll add those details around the eye as well. So top fold of skin for the eyelid, just there, one just around the eye there. Um, uh, top of the nose, then we have the eyebrows just across here, curvy line, thicker on the end, come down then to a spike. Same on the other side, just a curvy line, all the way to about there, and the same here, thin then on the end. Now, so we have his nose right in the middle, so it's very simple, just a line like that. Bring it down a bit further. Uh, top of his nose here, he's a very thin nose. Uh, two lines for nostrils, one there, one there, and then we can, if you want, you can shade in just. Add some hatching lines in under there just to show, show some shadow just for that nose. Then he's smirking, so he's mouth, so it's a uh, curvy line, so smile lines so right underneath that eye. So we have a smile, just a little smirk like that. 
and the other one comes down and curves back up this side. Just the line then under there for the chin. And then we're going to do the lines just all around his face. So the shape for his face, right? So we're going to start just here for the jawline. So it comes down, curves back in, just like that. And we can come over and do the same on the other side. So with the face, you want to keep it sort of symmetrical. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical, but there or thereabouts. And then this comes back this way. We just add some shadow just underneath that chin again. Just add just a bit of depth to it. And then this comes down to his pointy chin and then goes back up that way. And so then we have an ear in here. So it curves around just like that. Then we have bones and ligaments and stuff inside. So we can go around like that first and then you can add this part that various ways to do that you could do it whatever way you're comfortable with we could do the same on the other side so the ear comes up just there goes around again and then some more lines for the bones and ligaments in there so his hairline so he has um sort of spiky type hair so he has Starting at the in the middle, just here. So we'll do just a bit that comes down, zigzagging, and then comes around and comes all the way down to that ear. Just there. And he's some that some hair that hangs down just in front of his eye there. So we will do one just down there. A line back up. Like that and then we have another one that hangs down a bit further and then comes back up just make these a bit thicker sorry I just noticed they could probably be a bit thicker like that it's not bad uh, right so we have some more just hair keeps coming down, spiky down towards the ear. Just all it's in there. And then we have those the rest of the hair that comes all around. So it's spikes again. Very similar to a lot of anime characters, just spiking all up. So it goes up around so it starts close to the head, just like here. And we can go up this way, spike it in, go that way. Go over to the other side, spike it in. Curving all the way. One here. This one comes down. Spikes up there. Another one up this way. So I'm going all the way around the head. Sort of smaller ones mixed in with bigger ones. And then there's some hair inside, just some little details for hair in there. So a couple of lines there. One there. Another one here. Another one there. One here. Just a little line there. Um, this joins that. Just adding little details just to make it look hairy. And always coming up to a spike, see? Here. 
Yeah. So now we can do his uh, neck. So it just comes down here, side of his head, two lines, and it meets his collar. So we have the top of his collar, right? So it comes across, curves around the neck there. So you just do two loops, just like that. Because we've got to make it look like, look like there's an inside to the collar. And it comes down that way. And then keep going all the way. Oh, it goes off the bottom of my page there. Then this collar will have an edge to it. Come down there. Uh, same on this side down there and it meets those um, details that are on his clothes so those spirals well it depends on the clothes he has um sort of stones metal sort of attached to it sort of grunge style clothes and then this comes down to his shoulder it goes down off the page there same on this side so we can just add a little fold for clothes and then shoulder off the page. Do just one there, just like that. And then one just there. Uh, Adam's apple, just there. Line there for the neck muscles. Just one there. Neck, neck. Add a bit more hatching just on this nose. And he has a scar that comes onto his face, just a, a sort of a spiky. Just there. Comes down his neck as well. And And I'll just do some hatching just for a shadow underneath his neck, just there like this. Just some shade lines. Just on the direction of that shadow. All the way up, just underneath his neck. Maybe some here just to show it's darker under this piece of hair and as well just under here. And yeah, that's that's it. Banned from Seven Deadly Sins. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe for more.